I still struggle with the turnarounds. So I'm hoping you can just help me turn around. So I have the turnarounds to work the turnaround. The, I would love to work it on a specific thought for you. Do you have one that you're challenged by? She should learn to drive herself. Remember, I brought it up a little bit on Monday, but um, I just want I just want to turn around or tweak the uh, tweak the one liner to just kind of I get in my way with the self other and the opposite. The opposite's easy. The opposite's always the easy one for me, but it's it's the self and other. And you know, I'm actually a grammar person, so I should be able to do you well, know that, like. That Subject around. That might be part of it that you're just, I mean, <laughs> I can do it to, and show you visually and I will. But if you think about it, when we're judging others or life or an event that we need to be different and we think about pointing the finger at them. Okay. So if you turn it around, <laughs> so that, I mean, just to use that turnaround metaphor, we could use that old saying, you know, when you're pointing the finger, you have three pointing back at you. So that's kind of interesting too. I never really thought about that, the three turnarounds. Um, but anyway, so we turn it around. So that means instead of whoever is the subject, the subject becomes you always. Okay. I blank. And then the object either becomes yourself or them. So you're, the turnaround for the self, the object becomes you. The, the, whatever that thing is that is being done, whatever you think they're doing to you, you see, look for examples to see how you're doing it to yourself. So what would you get in that case looking at this one? She should learn to drive herself. I should learn to drive myself. Okay. I can yep, do that. So, <laughs> well, and I think so many of these are metaphors. Okay. So if you like, okay, that's not meaningful to me. Um, but I know that you and I have talked from the start and you've come so far that the, the ways that, okay, let's just ask you. So you look for examples. <laughs> How could it be? How am I not driving myself? metaphorically driving myself or otherwise so tell me um what would be an example of how you're not driving yourself oh well maybe um in the way that she's not driving she doesn't drive so i put off my own things to drive her or worry right. about something I'm going to have to drive her to. Um, so that's, that's really good advice to think of it more as a metaphor, especially for something like this. It's very concrete. But, yeah, okay. but I like I this one because this one isn't even a metaphor. It, it is both. It's about partly about you actually driving her. You know, if you, I put off my own things to drive her, you know, to I, rather, I, rather than driving myself so um and and and, or be already annoyed or thinking about it or whatever so you're not driving yourself in those ways so that could be in order to live that turnaround what you do you take your turnaround and you say "Hmm, okay I'm not doing that what's like one thing I could do that would be an actual measurable observable action to remedy this little pattern. So um, we don't always get right into living turnarounds until the mastermind group, but that's where you would you would really go into, well, what is it that I want that person to do for me and break it all down and then find ways to give that to yourself. Um, so yeah. do you have another? We try to find at least three examples and um, especially if you can find them within your situation. Like if you had a moment in time, we worked about the thing with the vet, you know, but yeah. is there a moment in time where you're like, mm, I need Jesse to drive her. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, you know, I don't know if I would see you saying it that way, but. <laughs> it's not really, it's not really a, um, this one, this one isn't really a particular moment. Like particular moments come up, and I go, "Well, why can't she just learn to drive?" But um, it's more of a it's 
it's it 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 is actually a metaphor for you know independence or um you know her being at more doing more adulting <laughs> Right. And so, uh, so that right. it's kind of so representational. Um, okay. I love that too. If you drill down from, into the real underlying meaning, then apply that turnaround to you. How are you not stepping into your big girl shoes completely since your divorce or any mm -hmm. other time? How are you not really getting in the driver's seat of your own life? Do you have examples for that? And you don't even have to share them right here. I'm saying metaphorically. I'm, throwing out um yeah that's a really good way to think about that i'm going to take some notes on that because i i don't want to take up all the time because there are a lot of people on the call and i want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered but um that sure that was helpful. Really, uh, very helpful i would say the third one i try to get at least three so the one about i'm not because i'm obsessed with the thing about driving her or or actually doing it instead of doing other things the second mm -hmm. one is um if it is her not driving kind of a metaphor for not really owning her own independent life, doing the things she wants to create the life she wants. And so you're seeing, you know, find ways that you're not doing that. But another thing we've talked about um, is how are you, you often say you want to drive yourself more that you're uh, procrastinate sometimes, or you have these oh. things on your list, exercising and other things. So how are you not driving yourself? <laughs> That's the third possible, yeah. you know. Kind of, oh, that's kind of absolutely of, true too, in a lot of different ways. Wow, that brings a whole lot of other one-liners, wow. doesn't? <laughs> well, that's why you know. That's why I love doing it by myself and in writing, like with with a coach or or the others. We think of things you didn't think of, but then you can sit by yourself. And I could find like twenty turnaround examples sometimes. Once I get it rolling, I'm like, oh yeah, that and that and that and that. And not to be hard on yourself. In the old days, I would find my part and beat myself up, be really hard on myself, go around apologize to everybody. Now it's just like, oh, we're just taking a look. And then you know we've been working on well why wouldn't you be doing that? And you talked about energy, and that was what was funny. The energy piece came back in some ways to Chessie not being more independent, and you're worrying about her and stuff. So, so yeah, it can really take you to good places. Do you mind if we open it up to the peanut gallery and see if anyone else would yeah. like to offer you a turnaround or an example? I do want to get back to the other though and just teach it for, for a second too, which was oh, okay. your initial question. Yeah. But people I think are it's commenting good for people that to it's speak. really helpful for you guys to be doing this work. And so please, you know, continue with it and that oh. they're enjoying, you know, they're getting a lot out of it. Yeah. Good. Cause sometimes people think all you're supposed to do is find the turnarounds. And that can be eye-opening, but the examples is what really rewires the brain. Is like, oh, okay. Next time I catch myself doing that, I won't be able to quite be quite so in denial or, you know, whatever that is. So everybody finding examples. Um, let's just go back to the, the nuts and bolts of it. So what we did, everybody, I don't know if you can see my, this is a, a thing I did this morning, having to, or right before this, downloading all those little Canva things about the GYB course. I have a team and I'm also very hands-on nuts and bolts techie too so chessy is our subject so you cross out the subject and put i if it helps you guys to do this in writing or my metaphor turn the back to you turn it around okay and then then this is the turnaround to the self um i should learn to drive myself Okay, it can be me or myself, depending on how the sentence works. And you can tweak the sentences to make them work. Okay, so then, Anita, what would you get for the turnaround to the other? I should learn to drive Chessie. That's an interesting one. So, ah. you know, I just want to say that I'm such a concrete person that I really think of this stuff literally. But you just like blew my mind with the, well, how is that a metaphor for, you know, fill in the blank? Well, how is that a metaphor for I should learn to drive Chessie? 
I need, I need to ask her to step up and be a young adult and not even so young anymore. Um, and oh, she's still yeah. pretty young, isn't she? Twenty two, three, twenty three. Yeah, I'd say we're still thinking pretty young, but yeah, uh, but still, yeah, she's definitely a young adult. Um, so yeah, I love that. Ask her to drive, you know, drive her a little more. Do do whatever it's going to take to kind of those things where you feel like maybe you haven't kind of supported her or pushed her or whatever that driving thing would look like. Wow. Yeah, like do more chores, take more responsibility for the dogs or, um, you know, cleaning up the kitchen or I don't know. Any number yeah, of any I number of those. That, yeah, maybe our last session we were like a list of what would be your top three if you were going to start really nailing down and negotiating with her and, and setting setting some. This is what we do in our house. You're living here, and you know, or it can be a negotiation. It can go both ways. Um, all right. Well, that was a great example. And we'll just move on from that one. I know you'll be able to find some more about how, what does you driving Ch Chessie look like? How have you not yet? Should we see if anyone else? Oh, Allison says they should wash the dishes. My, okay. Allison, give her, give her your peace of mind here. A piece of your mind. <laughs> no, I'm just She's saying got, that has been. She's that young hey, adult what? son. Yeah, I have what? been working on that one liner for two years now. <laughs> and I actually think, well, should I, if you ask me, is it true? Can you absolutely know it's true? I, I, I want to say yes in both instances. Wait, they your one liner is they should do the dishes or what is it? They should wash their dishes. I was just relating to the things that Anita was saying. I should make her wash the dishes. And it's it's very difficult when you've established a rapport with your child and you let them get away with that. And then all of a sudden you want them to be different. And yeah, it's a tough yeah. one. Especially when they're living at home as adults. You know, I I left I left my home within a month of graduating from college um, and moved to Washington, DC. And you know, I had to do all that stuff for myself. Um, yeah. You know, I couldn't fall back into the mom does it for me or, you know, I don't need to learn this because dad knows how to do it. And no, I had to learn to, you know, if my toilet's running and I have to fix it. And if my, uh, you know, my bank account is overdrawn, I have to deal with that. And, um, you know, I have to pay my bills and everything so it's you know it's such a it's such a contrast but i can definitely see how i enable that right and yeah and then at the same time kind of judge her so you know that yeah yeah this is definitely big and it has been an energy drain for you and yeah allison i pretty much have my life set up so i do not do dishes <laughs> <laughs> Even though I live alone, but well, you need a we, conscious decision to find other ways to have well, that. Because oh. right, I'm just you know so busy around the clock, and because we do Airbnbs here when we're not doing retreats, and I've always got people coming and going cleaning, so it's their job is to also do my dishes while they're here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you can can set it up any way you want. Just just because we're grown up doesn't mean we have to do dishes. We might better use our time in other ways but um anyway so all right so the turnaround to the to the opposite then would be oh, so we had uh, these Should two are eyes you change those two to eyes and then the opposite Jesse shouldn't learn to drive herself right so for those of you who are just learning this and don't worry if you came in late we're going to teach this on saturday and um, but Chessie, you leave that for pronoun the same and you just negate the verb. So Chessie shouldn't. So it started at her one liner was Chessie should learn to drive herself. Chessie shouldn't learn to drive herself. And so those examples are really different than the ones where you're looking at yourself. And um, so 
Um, do you have any examples for how Jessie shouldn't learn to drive herself? Uh, because she's not comfortable learning to drive. She's afraid to drive. Um, she's afraid of distractions. She she knows the traffic is insane in Washington. <laughs> Um, you know, it's just, it's daunting and it causes a lot of anxiety. So, I mean, there certainly are, she has ADHD. She, there are certainly valid reasons why, um, she may not want to learn to drive. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, we can find others, but just for an example for everybody, but you can keep yeah. looking at those and say, you know, in some ways, whose business are you in when you believe the thought she should learn to drive? Yeah, so her business by making yeah. it my business by sacrificing myself for her lack of driving. All right. And so we had talked about even doing a thing where you give her notice that I'm in three months or in six months, whatever it is, I'm not going to be your chauffeur anymore. So your choices will be Uber, friends, walk, learn to drive. Um, and occasionally you can negotiate with me, but I'm not your default driver. Give her enough warning, you know, and 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 we can work on what scares you about doing and saying that. Um, so come back yeah. to that again. We we touched on that a little bit. Um, that it might be really triggering for her or something. But yeah, I think you'll be able to be there with her. And it, the thing is that if we put ourselves and our needs and wishes last, but you can sort out what's really your needs and wishes. Versus what's your, this is how it should be. I did that one. I walked 10 miles in the snow to school, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. So anyway, yeah. just sort of sort that out. Okay, but if then that's me, not not um, driving myself, driving myself to set limits around this. Yeah. That's one of the things where if it's really a problem, it's not fair to you or her. So... All right, yeah. thank you. Okay, okay, maybe I'm not horrible at the doing the turnarounds. I'm just I'm just bad about how really realizing how they are appropriate or how they really fit what my examples really are. Being a little bit yeah. more open minded and broader in how I'm thinking about. Right. Okay, what so I, I pretty much thought that grammatically you knew how to do the actual nuts and bolts of the turnaround, but yeah, that's a good realization that finding the examples is where you get stuck sometimes. And I love yeah. that to broaden yeah. it up. You know, um, right on the judge your neighbor worksheet, Byron Katie has it. It's um, so-and-so should stop smoking, you know, and she says, but I never smoke. So how could that apply to me? You know, but she's smoking mad at him for still smoking when he has heart <laughs> trouble. And stuff. So that's how she's smoking, you know, so you can find those examples. Um, I want to just 